All right, Aries, here we go. This is for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for September 2022. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. Be sure you watch the overview for September. It's the core energy of the whole month that I gave you there. Your readings here, just sort of an angle on it, of course, specific to Aries here in this case, the Aries angle of the soulmate cycle. Uh, I got a pre-shuffle here. And it's, it's, if I were to put a title on this reading based on the pre-shuffle, I would call it Fighting It, Fighting It, Fighting It, Can't Fight It. It's very similar energy to what I got in the overview reading. Okay, it's very similar. I got the High Priestess crossed by Strength. Somebody here, their intuition's flowing, right? Into, feelings are flowing, but they're, yeah, they're pushing it back. The strength card is somebody who's trying, fighting hard to ignore it, even though the heart chakra is left, which is creating ten of wands, a real burden, which in turn is making them rethink fighting it. Maybe they leave something behind and move on in a new direction towards you, a whole new world, possible. But then fear kicks in. We get fear around the strength card too. Fear kicks in. That's why they're fighting it. Uh, fear, four of pentacles, holding back. But it's all futile, just like we learned in the uh, overview reading for the month, the Empress is right here. The Queen of Tits, the best tits in the tarot, your tits, male or female. It's an irresistible force, okay? So it's fighting it, fighting it, fighting it, can't fight it. You know, it's futile, but that's what the pre-shuffle shows us. Let's see where the reading takes us. Let's go, let's give the deck a shuffle here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Give me the soulmate cycle universe from the angle of Aries for September 2022. Oh, man. My first sign in my fly-through of the Zodiac. It's going to take me a couple of days to get through all 12 signs, but we'll get there. It's a nice place to start. We're starting with the Empress. There's that Empress energy again. You know, and your person is. They're back and forth. They're fighting it. And the intuition's flowing, but I can feel them pushing back on it. But then it gets to be a burden, and they rethink, right? Rethink. Yeah. And then they fight it again. Uh, why the fuck are we here? Before the cut, the Eight of Cups. Mm, yeah, the dilly dallying. I know what they want to do, but it, it's a dilly dally energy. It, it, it is. It's a strange read on the card of the Eight of Cups, which is usually somebody walking away from eight broken cups toward the sun or toward their Nine of Cups, their happiness, their most you know wish fulfilled, that kind of thing. But what I get here is dilly dallying. It looks I see this girl walking, but she's sort of walking in circles. Okay, that's what I get. And, and all the while, Aries has a Aries is the Empress. Right? You're the Empress. You're the Divine Feminine. You're, you are attracting a lot of things. A lot of things are interested in you. And this person here, they dilly-dally too long like we learned in the uh, overview reading. And it's going to be too late. You know, uh, Especially in the extended, we saw that. We saw that the power is all yours. Right there. Six of Wands. They know what they want to do. They need to do it. It's Minor Arcana in both positions of the cut. It's up to their free will. They can have victory here if they listen to them, if they follow their heart. Listen to their heart. Follow the intuition. Because the heart chakra is lit. I see it here. Uh, I saw it on the strength card in the pre-shuffle. All right? it's, it's up to them. They know what they want to do. They know they need to walk towards you. All right? like a, it's exactly what the pre-shuffle showed us. The cut cards should back it up, and they do. Let's give the deck a final shuffle, and let's see where we go. All right? Soulmate cycle from the angle of Aries for September of 2022, universe. What do we got here? What is our overall energy here for September of 2022 for Aries? Well, we come back with some cards from the pre-shuffle, a little bit anyway. Ten of Wands. Burden. Crossing that, the Two of Wands. Again, backing up the, the cut cards and the pre-shuffle. They know exactly what they want to do. So that girl on that Eight of Cups walking in circles, right? The cups they got are broken. Oh, I should stay with that. Uh, you know, no, uh, but, but when they start to feel, it creates a burden when they walk away. And they set the intention to come towards. It's a round and round and round and round. Uh, yep, yep, fighting it, fighting it, fighting it. Can't fight it. Our reading's on the flip. Let's see where we go here. With 10 wands as the overall energy, something's about to break here. It has to. This is a heavy car. It's like 500 pounds thrown down on the table. Here's the energy of your connection. Here's how your person's behaving in the 3D. Here's their soul. Here's the message from the universe. It's red with the energy of your connection. Right here's the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. I will clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top. Let's see where we go. If you want an extended reading, I'll tell you what. That monthly overview, that'll cover it. That's going to cover it for everybody because I'll tell you what. 
I'm not here to nickel and dime people. And I will tell you something, that, that reading is very important. This is a very important month. I'm spending my entire month pulling on destiny here. It's unreal. Okay, uh, what's the energy of, of the connection right now? Yeah, there's that strength card. Yeah, pushing it back a little bit. That's, that's the pushing it back energy. Now we're getting a few cards from the pre-shuffle that are coming back in, in positions, which means the high priestess is here and that ends our pre-shuffle set. The universe wanted to position these first two cards in the pre-shuffle and give you this, which was backed up by the cut. So the reading is cross-checking itself. The high priestess, how they're behaving in the 3D, yeah, they're feeling it. They're feeling it. But the connection right now, but again, they're pushing it back. The connection right now is somebody trying hard to fight it, but they can't. That heart chakra is wide open. Let's take a look at the soul energy. The soul energy bookends the strength card here. Yeah, the three of wands, always right on the edge. And again, I get a minor arcana here in the soul. They're using, their, this is, they're utilizing their free will to keep it pushed back a little bit. Keep what they're feeling pushed back. Probably because when they feel it, it hurts. You know, they missed out on something here. Probably. Uh, but anyway, the three of wands, yeah, they know what, she knows she wants to go in the water. She's holding the surfboard right there on the edge. Didn't take the time to drive all the way out here for no reason. So, you know, again, all, uh, fighting it, fighting it, fighting it. Can't fight it. They cannot fight this. I don't know why they're even bothering trying, but they are. We'll see what happens when we clarify. I suspect some forward movement here. I do. Hidden energy. What's the universe want to tell us about this strength card? Yeah, look. See? That's why I said I suspect some forward movement here. It's the four of cups. Okay? It's just every time they push it back, it's disappointment, which leads to this burden. This is why the ten of wands is over. It's very heavy energy. Right? You're heavy on their mind, but it's also heavy for them every time they push it down, every time they try to ignore it, right? F find, the, find the strength to push back the intuition, yet they know what they want to do. That girl on that Eight of Cups before the cut, she's definitely going to eventually walk toward happiness. If they get disappointed in themselves, a severe level of disappointment with what's on their side, which is why it turns them back around. That's why the Two of Wands is crossing here. It's why the pre-shuffle came out the way it did. That's why my mock title for your reading is, uh, put, you know, fighting it, fighting it, fighting it, can't fight it. Because every time they fight it and push it back, it, it, it leads to an extreme level of disappointment. This almost feels like major arcana to me. She's very sad. Okay. Potential final outcome. We'll see. It's red with the high priestess. Okay. Any, all bets are off. I haven't looked. Seven of swords. It's all about Again, they're just trying to sneak away from what they feel. This is somebody trying to sneak away from what they feel. And the moment they do, they, they feel sad about it. The universe says that in, in the end, they're just disappointing themselves. They're disappointing you. But mostly, the disappointment they feel in themselves. It, it, it's, it's causing a lot of pressure on this person. Because when they, I, this, this reading assumes, this baseline reading here, assumes that when they feel you, it creates a lot of pain within them. It creates a lot of, you know, because she could have had the rainbow right instead there's just this shit over here this little shit pile all right seven of swords um i see forward movement but i see i see them going the other way even though it's what they want to do here again it's up to their free will all right this person got to stop lying about what they feel now this is september remember september is a powerful month they're on the proper course of destiny here you know, your person can free will themselves off that road but um, I see the, I see a whole lot of bullshit here. We'll see if it gets overcome when we clarify. Let's talk to the witches. Why is the strength card here? Tell me about the strength card. All right. That's what I like about my channel. We get a lot of reality here. You know? No sugarcoating. No bullshit. This is life. This is how it works. If it was as simple as somebody turning around and coming back to you, they would have done it already. There's always more to the story. That's why those extendeds I do are so deep and make me need to take a nap afterward. It's all, it's very complex here. But pretty much every card on the table is, mi is minor arcana, you know. The majority of them are. Let's see here. This person's utilizing their free will against their own best interests. Um, against their own happiness. Why is the strength card here? Tell me about it. Maybe we'll find out more. It's crossed by the Three of Wands. Again, Three of Wands over here is red with this card because they're bookends. Three of Wands crossing it. This ties me back to here. Universe wants to point this out. That they, you know, they really want wants you to know that they want to come towards you. She wants to go in that water. 
but she never swam in there before. He's nervous about it. There's some reason they're pushing back their emotions. There's some reason. And the moment they do, it leads to severe disappointment and a lot of heaviness. The universe is saying in the final outcome here, we've got a bullshit artist. Somebody needs to get, get real about what they feel and allow it to flow. If they do that, she likely goes in the water. What's on top? Nine wands. Yeah, again, pushing it back. A wall. And the nines are the end in tarot. It's getting hard for them to do. I believe that with ten wands as our overall energy. That's a heavy card. But it, it's just backing up my energy read. That's what the cards are for. I don't need the cards. They're just here to back up my energy read. So you're, you don't think it's some guy talking when all you're looking at is a blue piece of felt here. Uh, why is the nine of wands here? Yeah, the, the world. It... You're very different for them. You know, again, we have to tie this to the soul, of course, any way we would, but with the Three of Wands crossing, it's a whole new world for this person. You're completely different. All right? And again, they, the reason she's not jumping in the water is because you're very different. Because it, people don't like change. Okay? They don't. They don't deal with it well. Marketing companies spend billions of dollars to convince us we need things that we didn't know we needed. You know? They did that, I've said before, they did that with the internet when it first came around. They, they did a huge advertising campaign to try to convince us that we needed it. And still, it took most of the 90s for households to get the damn internet. But even as late as 1998, people didn't have the internet in their home. You know, there were plenty of people that didn't. 1999, too. Hell, I don't think I got it until 1999 or 2000. I, didn't, I thought it was shit. I didn't want it. You know, in spite of the advertising, people don't like change, you know. It's just what it is here. The world, though, that's pretty tough. That tells me that, that this, this, it's getting harder and harder for them to push this back, which is what our overview told us, too, by the way. High Priestess, why is it here? High Priestess. Tell me about it. Huh? In spite of the fact I got a YouTube channel, I still don't think much of the Internet. I still think it's ruining our society. But, hey, you know what? Whatever. It gives me a chance to pull some readings for some people. Good for it. High Priestess, why is it here? Tell me about the High Priestess. Uh, let's see here. What's going on with it? Four of Swords. Again, they're doing nothing. They're just pushing it back. Someone here it needs, needs to give their head a rest and allow the soul energy to flow. Uh, again, it, it's exactly backing up my energy read. It's exactly what's happening here. What's on top? Four of Cups. Again, tying. here's the Four of Cups here. And the message from the universe, here's the Four of Cups here again. And the more they push it back, the more they don't go with the flow here, the more disappointed they get. This person wants a crack at this. They're interested in the cup that they once blew off, but they just can't get past their own bullshit. They keep pushing it down. Every time they feel something for you, it probably hurts, and they push it back. There's three of wands here, very telling. You know, she wants to go in that water. They get disappointed as they push it back. Why is the four of cups here? Eight of swords. They get in their head. They got to, it's saying the same thing that the, Four of Swords crossing here. <clears throat> they need to give the brain a rest and allow the intuition to flow. And they're just creating stress. All of this adds up to stress, especially with the Ten of Wands here. So they're stressing themselves out. It's not your fault. They're just stressing themselves out for no fucking reason. No reason at all. It's all just bullshit. They should just let, let their feelings flow. Feel what you feel. Always do that. Allow yourself to feel what you feel. And go with it. Go with the flow of the energy. This is a cautionary tale for you. This is what happens when you shut down stuff. No, no, I can't be feeling that. No, 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 you can be feeling it. You don't have to act on it. You know, if you're married or something and you feel something for somebody else and you're, you don't want to hurt your spouse or something like you, you know, you don't have to act on it, but you can allow yourself to feel it. It's okay. It's fine. In fact, it's healthy. To allow yourself to feel it. If you push it back, you become this person. They, this person's a fucking mess. Okay, this is stress. I'm stressed out doing your reading. I'm doing your reading and, and Taurus is up next. I hope Taurus is a more relaxed reading. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be able to take this stress much longer. Why is the Three of Wands here? <laughs> Tell me about it. She wants to go in that water. Ants in her pants to go in the water here on this card. What's going on? Tell me about the Three of Wands and the soul position. Let's see. Let's see where we go. It's crossed by the Ten Swords. Hmm. There is an urgency here, part of the stress, it, it, deep down in the soul. Part of the stress here is an urgency that 
if they don't do something this is going to be over but at the same time the moment they think they want to do something they just stand there like a deer in the headlights so there is they they're they are aware of the passage of time here they're aware that you know again uh it's time to do something okay this ten of swords also tells me we've reached the end of this girl just standing on the shore she's likely to go into water which tells me we might see some cards of forward movement on top of that seven of swords which might get it flipped i don't know uh, actually, I do know, but I, I, I tell you I don't know for suspense reasons. Okay, what's on top? The star. Yeah, uh, Destiny. Again, I'm, the whole month of September, it's going to be crazy for me. I'm pulling on Destiny energy. Destiny, that we, uh, just like in August where it was a Destiny sandwich, a North Node sandwich, it's a, it's a North Node open face sandwich here in, in September. And, and, you know, we're, we're cruising down that road. This person here is trying to push back on something that they can't, which is what the pre-shuffle showed us with the Empress at the back side of it. You know, they can't. And, and that Empress was the energy of your connection in the overall overview reading for September. Why is the star here? Three swords. Yeah. Uh, it's only delayed until somebody gets their shit together. Every time they, it, this backs up, every time they feel you, it hurts. Okay? Every, because you're their wish fulfilled. You're their wish. You're what they want. Okay, they, you know, they're already naked. In fact, they may think about you naked. It's possible. I'm not, I'm not just saying that to be funny. It's true. It, it, and I compliment you on your grooming, but they may think about you naked. It's entirely possible. Every time they think about you, it causes a great deal of pain. It hurts this girl right here not to go in this water. And, and I know it, and they push back on it. And the universe itself is allowing, the energy is allowing for them to come towards you. Because, but they just keep pushing back on this, what's flowing up from the depths here. They keep pushing back on it. The Seven of Swords, which is red with these, tells us that. It's all bullshit, and it's all minor arcana bullshit. It's self-sabotage in a big way. Let's talk to the universe. Let's talk about my pooping girl here in the yard. Taking a shit on their own life here. Taking a shit on their own happiness. Why is the Four of Cups here? Tell me about the Four of Cups. What's going on here? Why is the Four of Cups here? What are you trying to tell me here, universe? Okay. Page of Wands. All the look. It's what I told you about the world card. I said the universe, the energy around them is facilitating this change. Okay, it's there. It, 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 it's like the Page of Wands is my little explorer. It's the curious page. It's communication, right? The universe is in its red with these cards, so the world energy applies. The universe is saying, go for it, go for it. Look, there's a little hand underneath this cup over here that was rejected. This rainbow, you. It, the offer is there, is what it's saying. The offer is there. This person needs to stop this nonsense of suppressing this, of pushing back. They need to stop it. And look at that. As I pick up the deck, I accidentally leave the Five of Pentacles, which would be the top card, which would be right there. They're leaving themselves out in the cold. They're doing it to themselves. This is red with the Nine of Wands. All right? It's almost like it is self-sabotage. This tells us that. It is self-sabotage. This girl right here, she got some kind of complex where she likes to deny herself rainbows. You know, some perverse pleasure in saying no to things that they know would make them happy. Right? They're leaving themselves out in the cold. And there's also, at the same time, a fear of being left out in the cold. Because every time they feel you, they think of you, and they realize with ten swords crossing here, that's probably almost over. That creates a huge burden. It's a whole loop around on itself. The energy comes up. They don't want to feel it. It hurts. They push it back. It, push it, it pushes back on them, and then they make this. It comes back around and around and around. We're coming to the end of this. Nine wands here. The nine would tell me we're at the end of the resistance here. But this is where we've been. This is where we're at here. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Two of Pentacles. Because they're, the, they're not making the right choices. That's what I get off of it. They're putting themselves in winter. In an energy of winter. Because they're not making the right choices. Right here, when the world card is here, it's the most powerful card I could pull. It's very obvious when things have changed. When a cycle has ended and a new cycle has begun. It's very obvious in this energy here. It's, there's a whole new core cycle. There's all sorts of things happening within the energy that would make it very obvious for this person that it's time for them to make a change. They're wishy-washy within that energy. The implication is a tower, which I know anyway because I pulled the star here in the soul. And the star, if you get the star card, it implies a tower has happened. Okay? They're causing their own tower. They're leaving themselves out in winter. 
So our final outcome is someone who is self-sabotaging, sneaking away under the cover of darkness. Okay? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Why is the seven swords here? What's the final final on this? Because I'm drawn to the moonlight here. It's like a, a moon <laughs> a moon that they're lying about uh, with the high priestess. Now these are red with these, so keep that in mind. Let's see. We, get, we need to see some forward movement here. Otherwise, this person's just going to self-sabotage this. But at least you know where they're at. At least you know that they have a lot of feelings for you. And it, it hurts them when they think about you. It, it, they're just doing it to themselves. It's got nothing to do with you. It's not your fault. Why is the Seven of Swords here? They're just afraid to be vulnerable, afraid to open up. But again, I get this energy of this. This is your person, male or female. It's a chick on the card. I, I, this, this person here, when I read this person, if I were to walk up to this person and get a read on their energy, they would be a self-sabotaging motherfucker. Somebody who draws some perverse pleasure in denying themselves anything that makes them happy. Usually these issues stem from childhood. Okay? Usually it's some kind of they were ignored in childhood. A lot of times kids who are ignored by their parents get like that. You know, my generation, Generation X, a lot of us are like that. A lot in that generation because we were the latchkey kids. We were the kids whose parents all of a sudden were working. Mom and dad had a job. They were gone all day. We came home from school to an empty house. You know, my mother would leave a $20 bill on the counter and with a little note note next to it, get yourself some dinner. You know, nobody was cooking dinner. There wasn't any family. There wasn't Warden, June, Cleaver, Leave it to Beaver shit. No. You know, it, it was just like that. So a lot of people in my generation are like that. So I know that energy well. Seven of Swords, why is it here? So the kids acted out, tried to get attention. <laughs> uh, we did it with fireworks when we were kids. We used to blow stuff up. Uh, the Seven of Swords. All right. Why is it here? It's crossed by the Emperor. And again, it's 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 the same energy I was describing to you. It, it's it's the Burger King, right? It's somebody who's got to have it their way, and their way is to almost enjoy the feeling of denying themselves happiness. All right, but this is also an energy of control. It could be somebody taking control of this. I don't know. What's on top? Strength, drawing us over here. To the strength card, which is the energy of your connection. I believe this is a control energy. It's somebody who's trying to control the situation. They're just not controlling it well. Their tune says the driving cat. It would be better if one of the people in the car drove, not the cat. The cat drives the car off the fucking road. It's a cat. It's not supposed to drive a car. Your person shouldn't be driving. Okay? They shouldn't be. They should be allowing the intuition to flow and following and letting the universe drive, okay? But they're not. And because of that, the universe is basically saying here they're a shitty driver. This is their way. Their way is to deny themselves anything that makes them happy. Deny that rainbow. Tell themselves that it's gone. They almost like feeling this pain. They, that's why they keep bringing it back. That's why they keep sticking their hand in the meat grinder. It's called the fucking meat grinder. You'd think they'd figure it out. You'd probably stop, right? If you ground your hand in the hamburger once, you wouldn't do it again, you know, so, but they do. They keep doing it. It is that energy. Why is the strength card here? What's the final final on this? Two of Wands. Again, it, it's a loop. Round and around, the Two of Wands is crossing this Ten of Wands, and we saw it in the pre-shuffle. It all comes around the moment they sneak away, okay? The moment they sneak away and feel good about that, I denied myself a rainbow. Yay. Yay me. The minute they do that, taking control of the situation in their own guerrilla math way, they all of a sudden want to come back. They realize that what they've got is unhappy. They realize that what they've got are these broken cups here, and they want to come back. And then it comes around and around and around, and it starts all again. That's why the strength card is here, taking us back to the beginning. So the, at the end, we have the beginning. Around and around and around. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Repeat, repeat. It's like, it's like playing a record over and over and over again. Your person is perpetually in the, in the stage, get, gets to the Two of Wands stage, setting the intention. And then they chicken out. Then they chicken out, and then they, re then they get sad. because they Or, in some level, they get, yeah, they get sad, but they get happy too. Because they, again, it's sort of some perverse thing where they enjoy denying themselves happiness. 
it's pretty common in psychology a lot of people are like this it's no big deal um, but I don't see a break here I don't see we're gonna pull three more cards from the universe but I just see it the universe is telling us it's going around and around and around okay so yeah you might see some readings around for September where they say someone's coming back to you a fresh start someone wants you someone misses you all of that is true but when you dig a little deeper you you understand the psychology of your person what we're getting here is someone who enjoys saying no to something that would that would be that would benefit them again like I said using their free will against their own best interests let's see let's see what else the universe wants to tell you here Aries uh, but boy there's strong feelings for you I know that here in the soul three swords boy do they want to go in that water mm. <clears throat> We'll pick it up from the Two of Wands here. We'll see what they do this time in September, okay? Tell me more about the Two of Wands universe. Give me three cards. What else you want to tell Aries about this Two of Wands? Do they finally do it this time? Or is it just another round of loop? What's going on? We always pull from the bottom. Three of Pentacles, three swords, two swords, death card crossing that. It's a loop. It's around and around and around. Three of Pentacles, they, they want to start again, they get in their head about it. There's the three swords from the soul, the pain when they think about you. They want to transform this, right? They, the death card is change. The energy around them is change. This is that change energy from the overview. It's crossing the three of swords. They want to fix that, but they almost also enjoy being in this three swords. Kurt Cobain in pain, they enjoy it, and then they want to fix it. Right? There's that two of wands, but it comes up as three pentacles here. They want to work with you. They want something, but then they, they just two of swords it. They get it. They sit there at a crossroads, deer in the headlights, and it goes around and around and around. What's underneath the death card? The ten of cups. They like keeping you in fairyland. Okay? The energy around them is pointing them toward their happiness. And what this person does is it confuses them. I don't think that if you were with this person, this, they need to fix this behavior before they can be in a relationship of a deep soul connection. I think if you were with, you were with this person, they would disappoint you. I don't think they would. I think the moment they got happy, they would find some way to sabotage it, because that's how they get attention. This is, in a nutshell, in its own way, psychologically, this is an attention seeker. Okay, it is what it is. But they do have strong feelings for you. They they just got their own shit. They need to work out. They really do. They get very close to approaching you, and they have on many occasions. It's just, it's them. It's, it's not you, it's them. Okay? That's your reading. Hey, go get yourself sugar-coated somewhere else, but this, this is, yeah, they're coming. Sure. Sure. Headed right your way. I see it here with the Three of Wands. You bet. But, it's a loop. It's around and around. The moment they feel it, they push it down, comes back around, but they seem to enjoy that feeling a little bit I don't know you know again I think I, I think I nailed the psychology here a little bit someone who enjoys denying themselves things again it usually stems from childhood issues usually stems it's usually an attention seeker of some kind but that comes from somewhere okay that's your reading I hope it was helpful at least it was honest hey it is what it is it's a month of destiny worry about your own lessons here if nothing else this is a cautionary tale for you never be like this always let yourself feel what you feel okay you don't always have to act on it but allow yourself to feel it when you don't it becomes poison in your system when you push it back you must allow that energy to flow that's your reading i hope it was helpful if you like this reading please like share and subscribe appreciate all the subscribers everybody who shares and everybody who watches all right good luck